Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we've got a Regal 2665 to have a look around. It's a 26 foot uh, sports cruiser. It was built in 2003 and it's got a Yanmar 240 horsepower turbo diesel stern drive. Um, the boat's run about 470 hours uh, and it's in very nice condition. It comes complete with this SBS road trailer that you see here. Um, and these boats, these diesel sports cruisers that we get tend to be super popular um, and they never really hang around too long. They're just a, a very desirable sort of package. Great size, the fact it's on a trailer, people always like that because it means it's easy for us to transport it to you if you're based in the UK or throughout Europe. We can transport this boat really easily and for a low cost. Um, and it also means that you can keep your maintenance costs down whenever you do own the boat as well. So um, yeah, it's got everything going for it. We're gonna take a walk and through the boat. I'll show you everything on board. You can hear the engine running. We're going to put the boat in the water and show you how it performs underway. Uh, and hopefully it'll give you a really good idea of the, the shape that this one's in. Just before we go on board, I just wanted to show you the condition of the exterior of this boat. The gel coat is virtually pristine. It's got a totally glass finish. It looks as good as, as new. Um, and there's, apart from a couple of minor sort of uh, chips around the, the stern quarters, there's there, there are no other defects on the hull at all. Um, the, it's the stainless steel rug rail gets, still got a great shine and it's uh, totally on mark the whole way around the boat. All the stainless steel work from the bow rails to the cleats to the anchor roller is all in top, top notch condition. Um, and everything is you know, nice and secure and solid feeling. Um, and uh, I think the boat just looks fantastic. These regals, the 26 foot one, has a really nice long sort of sleek nose on it. Um, which, compared to the, some of the shorter sports cruisers you see, I think the proportions just look a lot better on this boat. The anti-fouling paint, um, while it's in good condition, it will need renewed for the coming season, but there's probably no point in doing that until you're getting ready to put the boat in the water for the, for the summer. The trailer is a UK built SBS, uh, three and a half ton, twin axle, galvanized uh, model. It's in fantastic condition. The owner towed the boat to us about 60 miles or something. I've towed it myself um, to and from the slipway. It tows perfectly, the brakes, everything works. Um, and uh, like I said, no problem moving this boat throughout the UK or Europe on the trailer, which is included in the price. The boat's got a Bravo 3, a Mercruiser Bravo 3 stern drive, which is matched up to the Yanmar 240 horsepower engine. Uh, it's twin counter-rotating props. The propellers and the drive um, are in good condition. The drive was overhauled, I think, in 2010 um, by the same engineer who's maintained the boat for the last uh, six years or so. Um, so it all looks in good nick and the boat runs really well uh, underway. It does, the, the, the benefit of the dual props uh, are that it helps the boat get up on the plane um, faster and it also keeps the boat on the plane down to lower speeds. Whenever we were running the boat in the water, uh, we found that we could plane right down to about 13 knots um, and at lower speeds as well if you're driving the boat in displacement mode whenever you're right down sitting in the water the benefit of the dual props is that it tends to track, track better in a straight line and so you don't have to constantly saw away at the steering wheel so it's a really good drive matched up to an engine which gives excellent performance it's also an extremely fuel efficient engine and the Yanmar motors have a reputation for being particularly reliable as well so we'll jump in and have a look around on board. We've got a three-step folding uh, boarding ladder to get up onto the swim platform. Uh, the swim platform's a full two feet deep and it's the, the width of the boat. It's, to, it's all molded non-skid. So this is a great addition on a boat like this for, you know, for if you're swimming off the boat or for getting on and off from the jetty. We've also got a couple of pop-up cleats back here. So whenever you are stepping off and on, you can have the, uh, the cleats pushed in and you're not going to stub a toe or anything. The, the really unique thing about this one platform is it's got storage built into it. So we've got three opening lockers uh, which are all connected. Um, and this is a, it's a really deep storage locker. You'll easily get three or four fenders and docking lines in there. Um, which always tends to be a problem on particularly these, this sort of size of sports cruiser. Is getting easy access storage for your fenders without taking up lots of usable space in the boat so this is a perfect solution here um, and it also doubles up as the 
the storage position for the shore power lead. It's wired in the boat just in the on the port quarter here. Also back here we've got a transom shower with hot and cold pressurized water so you can rinse yourself off after a swim. And we've got a, a central, centrally positioned ski toe point. So if you do want to pull um, so a wakeboarder or a rubber ring or something behind the boat, you can still do that um, and it's you know set up for water sports. Coming on board, we come in through a, a locking transom gate, which is great for keeping kids on board like in the cockpit whenever you're underway. We've got a nice sociable seating layout in the cockpit here um, that we can configure a, a number of different ways. First of all, you can have the, the back seat folded down, so if, you're, if you want to fish off the boat, you've got uh, much more uh, floor space. I know some people do like to fish off this size of boat and they're not always uh, really suitable for, for doing that so the fact that you can drop down the stern seat and, and you've got a nice high rail running across the back and nice high gunnels at the side means that you can quite easily fish off the back of the boat. With this aft seat then set up uh, we've got a, a great sociable layout with two benches facing each other at the back of the boat and we can set the, 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 the cockpit table in position there so if you're sitting having a few drinks on board or having a picnic you got a nice sociable seating layout back here that will easily accommodate five people. The other option with the seating back here is we can fold it completely flat in the nice big double wide sun lounger uh, and we can also actually drop the, the aft section down flat as well so you got a really full length uh, sun lounger that also can double up as a, as a double bed so if you've got more people on board. We've got we've got two doubles in the cabin, and this is also like a third occasional double. Whenever you get the camper covers up in position, you know kids or whatever could sleep up here, no problem. So again, it's easy to do. You don't need any filler cushions. That the forward seat cushion just folds flat, um, and it's easy to set up and, and, and put away, no problem. On the port side, walking through, we've got a nice little wet bar area with a fresh water tap and sink. We've also got a cool box that stores in underneath the, the counter and we've got a, a big, a, it's actually a huge locker that runs right, right the way down along that, that port gunnel there. So it's, you can keep all your, your drinks and snacks and things in there. You'll notice too we've got um, lighting dotted throughout the cockpit so it gives off a nice soft glow after dark. Uh, we've got stereo speakers and things back here as well. The helm position on this boat is, uh, is very commanding. It's centrally located in the middle of the boat and it's also elevated so you get great visibility the whole way around the boat um, which is very good whenever you're coming into berth or if you are pulling uh, people in water toys and things really good that you can you get clear view right the way around the boat. The helm itself um, is, is nicely laid out. We've got all our 12 volt switches falling easily to hand. We've got circuit breakers then for each of the uh, each of the pieces of 12 volt equipment, so you don't have to go hunting for a fuse box. If uh, something trips, you can just reset it right at the helm. Um, we've got a, a nice leather and wood effect steering wheel, which is a uh, tilt position, and we've got a full suite of marine instrumentation, giving us all the, the critical engine information. Everything up here is fully operational, um, as far as I can tell and it's all in very good condition. We get a little bit of the delamination on the dash here. Um, which we can't, you can't sometimes get just from the sun. Um, but apart from that, the condition's very good. The, the boat, generally speaking, shows no sign of abuse. Um, the only great thing is we've got the throttle lever falling very easily to hand and a nice big uh, wide armrest as well, which is good. You don't always get that in boats. Uh, and whenever you're cruising, Particularly over longer periods of time, you can your arm can tend to get tired unless you've got a nice armrest there. We've got a twin wide helm seat here as well, so you can have a bit of company um, whenever you're up at the helm. And, and they've both got flip up uh, bolster seating, so if you prefer to stand at the helm or just sit in an elevated position, you can do that as well. Uh, and we've got a nice uh, elevated floor section there that you can brace yourself against whenever if you are uh, helm on the boat while standing up. We've got a lo lovely. There's plenty of space up here for keeping uh, charts and things uh, up at the helm, uh, and the, the equipment level is really good as well. The boat's fitted with a Garmin GPS map 182 chart plotter and a VHF radio, and we've also got, in addition to the, all the standard sort of bits and pieces of gear, your bilge blowers, your bilge pumps, your wiper motor. Uh, the boat's also fitted with a windlass, which we can control from the from the helm here. So 
that's a power winch to help you set and retrieve the anchor which uh, again it's a really good feature on a boat of this size you don't have to go up there and haul the anchor in manually like I said the boat's powered with a Yanmar 240 horsepower stern drive diesel um, it's run just check we've got 467.7 hours on the clock uh, and the performance is very good engine access in this boat is extremely simple all we do is we fold the, the aft seat uh, down uh, and just lift up the hatch. Nice big access hatch uh, onto the cockpit floor. It gives really good access all the way around the engine. It's a Yanmar 240 horsepower turbo diesel unit. Um, you can tell that the condition is extremely good. This boat's only been used in fresh water for the last six years uh, and prior to that I don't think the boat was kept in the water. The, you can tell there, there's, there's virtually no corrosion down in this engine bay. Uh, the batteries I think were replaced last year. There's a twin battery bank in there, which is uh, again great condition that the boat's starting first turn of the key. We've got a clarifier over in that corner. We've got a nice big heavy duty uh, water separating diesel filter, which is easy to access. Uh, and all the engine checkpoints are, are nice and easy, uh, easy access as well. So uh, we'll fire up the engine and, and you can hear how it runs. Uh, and then we'll see how it performs on the water later. Access out onto the bow of the boat is via these nice wide steps and out through the central opening section of the windscreen. Everything's molded non-skid so it's safe on their way. And we've got a nice big area, like a recessed area up on the deck there that you can put a, a sun cushion on there, you know, a sun pad cushion. Now this boat's not equipped with that but it's quite an easy thing to retrofit and if you think that uh, you like it then it's a fairly straightforward thing to do. There's also a couple of integrated cup holders either side of that sun lounging position up there. 
and then further on forward we've got a recessed uh, flat section of the deck that you can uh, stand on if you're up working at the mirroring gear manually or whatever so um, nice usable space out there uh, and the condition everything around here condition wise is very good all the stanchions are good the wind shape, the windscreen surround and all is in very good shape uh, all the hinges and fixtures and fitness uh, generally speaking throughout the boat are in very good condition like on all of these regal cruisers the the cabin access door is offset to the port side so the benefit of that is it means that you get much more room at the helm you can get a wider walk through step up onto the bow and you've also get a bit more floor space down in the cabin so there's room for two people to pass each other um, I, I think the layout's really good I don't know why more manufacturers don't lay their boats out like this but um, yeah it's a great layout so what we'll do is we'll go downstairs now and we will show you around the cabin just as we come down into the cabin we've got a nice size uh, galley on the port side and uh, with plenty of countertop space we've got a single burner electric hob here and we've got a, a stainless steel uh, sink uh, and faucet which again is a nice, good size nice and deep we've also got uh, plenty of storage in here we've got a couple of cupboards underneath uh, one of them has a integrated uh, rubbish container there uh, and we've also got a dual voltage refrigerator onto the sink we've got a microwave oven on the the countertop and we've got uh, a good bit of storage space up above that as well also here we've got our our 12 volt and our 220 volt uh, electrical panels where we can switch on and off those different bits and pieces of equipment we've also got a stereo head unit down here and uh, we've got a fresh water tank level monitor uh, as well there's spotlights dotted right the way throughout the cabin down here um, and uh, up some indirect lighting as well up around the, the the forward seating area and under the mid cabin behind me whenever we come down into the cabin is the is the mid berth so again it's another benefit of the fact that the cabin door is offset to the port it means that we've got a really wide area to access that cabin um, there's a double bed in there we've got storage lockers uh, at the foot of the bed we've also got a hanging locker just here um, up at the head of the bed with a little uh, integrated vanity mirror above it and there's also a, a little seat there as well so if you're getting changed you can just close this curtain over and you get a nice little changing area for a bit of privacy um, if you're uh, if you're using that, that aft cabin there just give you a closer look at the at the little uh, changing seat and hanging locker down in the aft cabin area these cabins on smaller on similar sized boats of other brands uh, can tend to be a little bit claustrophobic but because we've got the nice wide opening here on the regal and the full you know the full height standing area just as you go into the cabin uh, it really does make it nice and spacious feeling on the starboard side then we've also got the the heads compartment which has a, a pump out sea toilet it's going it, it actually pumps into a holding tank and there's a macerator on board to empty the tank uh, and we've got again another stainless steel sink and faucet and that uh, tap doubles up as a shower head as well which you can mount up above the the mirror uh, the whole compartment is completely lined and drained so you, you can uh, quite comfortably shower on board as well we've got more storage just in the corner of the the heads compartment there as well for keeping all your toiletries and cleaning products and things in so it's a good size uh heads for a for a 26 foot boat uh and it's very usable it makes it uh means that you can spend a full weekend or, or even longer on board um, and complete comfort up at the the front of the cabin then we've got this u-shaped uh, dinette which converts into a double bed at night time so it's a uh, it's really good size easily fit five adults around here we get again we've got a nice Corian uh, effect uh, cock table um, and uh, it's a just a comfortable comfortable layout with full headroom right to the front of the, the boat I should say you probably notice some of the there's there are some stains on the upholstery in here uh, and it's really about the only thing that lets this boat down now we've we've been obviously today the boats had a bit of a valet uh, and we've had a go at trying to take some of these stains out so that's why it looks a little bit worse today than it, than it otherwise would um, but I think I think what it is was I was speaking to the owner about it and he was in two minds about whether to reupholster the the seats or not uh, and his opinion was 
just show the boat as the, you know in, in, a, in an honest condition and this is the honest condition of the boat his kids are, are big into their water sports uh, they also have a ski boat and I think the thing is that this boat was used um, by the kids running in and out with their wetsuits and things and and uh, it's just one of those things where the, the seats have, have uh, gotten a bit damp over the over the time on use and uh, there's just some light staining in it if you did want to get the, the upholstery redone um, I'm sure it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a big expense because it's indoor upholstery um, it doesn't need to be done to the same the material doesn't have to be to the same uh, standard as exterior upholstery so it's a pretty straightforward job um, and there's nothing uh, apart from the look of it there's nothing more to it than that that's really just a, a, a slight cosmetic issue but apart from that the boat's in fantastic condition throughout uh, it's been really well looked after the owners got extensive uh, service history with the boat um, mechanically it's perfect the engine started for us first turn of the key the performance <clears throat> on the water like I said was was excellent um, and I would have absolutely no qualms selling this boat whatsoever I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic buy for her next owner and is going to give years of, of trouble free service one other thing I should point out while I'm up here is that we've got bags of storage underneath the the, the dinette seat in here. On a lot of these boats it's a it's a whole f uh, effort to get these cushions out but on this because again Regal know what they're doing they've been building boats for a long time these cushions literally just lift out uh, to reveal a nice fiberglass lined storage compartments the whole way around here so that means that this storage is really it's genuinely easy access um, although we sometimes the manufacturers say it's easy access on other boats it's that much effort to get the, the cushions out of the out of their position that it that can be a struggle so this one is genuinely very easy to access all the way around and we've also got again molded fiberglass storage bins um, behind each of the, the the port and starboard seat backs as well um, so there's loads of storage space in here the condition apart from the upholstery like i said the condition of everything else in the cabin is, is absolutely top notch. The boat has never been uh, abused or neglected. The headline and there's completely dry. There's no signs of any uh, stains or leaks or anything right the way throughout the boat. The aft cabin mattresses are perfect. They're bone dry, perfect condition. Uh, and the carpets are in very good condition as well. You can see these carpet protectors in position here as well. So uh, the owners always use those and that helps, uh, helps obviously keep the condition of the carpet very good. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of the the features and the benefits of this Regal 2665. The boat has been owned by the current owner since 2006. It was a, an, an original UK uh, boat that was imported by the, the Regal agents uh, in, in the UK in 2003. It's only been used in fresh water since 2006. There's an extensive service history with it. The condition is extremely good um, and if you want to have if you have any questions about the boat, if you want any more information at all, please don't hesitate to give me a call or send me an email and I'd be delighted to have a chat with you. Thanks for watching.